Nigeria, with diverse ethnic and religious groups, has been faced with the challenge of insecurity for years, especially in the northeastern part. The terror group Boko Haram has since 2009 wreaked havoc in that part of the country, killing many and destroying homes, schools and businesses. Women and children have been the worst hit. The government has launched offensive against members of the terror group, sacking them from their strongholds, especially in Sambisa forest. However, there are still cases of bombings, castle rustling, armed robbery, cultism, and kidnappings with illegal arms, which seems to have an unending supply. These guns find their way into the country through the porous border. Nigeria is faced with over 1,400 illegal land border routes into the country as against the 114 approved control posts across the land with over 4,000 square kilometers coverage. Officials have intercepted series of arms smuggled inside food stuff like rice, cassava products, among others. There is an existing consensus that the proliferation of small arms and light weapons across the world in general, and Nigeria in particular, feels violence with the attendant human and material loss. A 2015 resolution of the United Nations Security Council raised concern that illicit transfer, destabilizing accumulation and misuse of small arms and light weapons in many regions of the world continue to pose threat to international peace and security. causing significant loss of lives and contributing to instability and insecurity. There are no updates and accurate data on the quantity of illicit firearms in circulation in Nigeria, as the nation's apex statistical body, the National Bureau of Statistics, has no record of small arms and light weapons being used illegally or illicitly. The Small Arms Survey reported that as of 2007, the number of small arms and light weapons in Nigeria were estimated at between 1 and 3 million. Yes, there is something wrong in bringing arms into the country. It, is, uh, it has procedures. Official bottlenecks are there for you to bring arms into the country that you must. And not in large cache like this one. I don't think any individual is from there. It is only government agencies that can bring arms into the country in this manner. And that is where it starts. How many gun shops do we have in this country that are licensed, people that are licensed to sell guns? How many of them do we have? But people are selling guns everywhere. Like this one now, it becomes legal when it gets into the hand of gun sellers now that are legal, uh, that, that, that are legally approved to do it. You see, those ones are the end consumer or the middle man between the end consumer and the suppliers. So uh, the problem we have is that the whole thing needs sanitation, apart from other problems. It's because of 
insecurity. People no longer feel safe. Everybody wants to protect him or herself. The government has left our protection in our hands. So the public, they want to get arms because they know it is with these arms that those hoodlums come to harass them. That if probably I can get one for myself, there is that craze there. Everybody is scrambling over themselves to get arms because they believe the government has abandoned your security into your own hands. Because uh, before now, how many years ago, if you bring arms into the country, nobody will buy from you because there was no need for it. But because people have lost confidence in the security uh, arrangement of the country, they have taken it to be that security is our, everybody's business that government kept repeating, which of course is a fact, but not to this extent. Recently, the Presidential Committee on Small Arms and Light Weapons, PRESCOM, revealed that about 60% of the illegal arms in the southeast zone are produced locally. On January the 22nd, a truck conveying a 40-foot container was intercepted along Mile 2 on the Apapa Oshodi Expressway in Lagos. Physical examination revealed 49 boxes containing rifles illegally imported and earlier cleared by the Nigerian Customs. Three suspects are said to have been arrested in connection with this illegal importation. Our investigation already commenced and I have directed that the drug net should be wide open to fish out all persons involved in the importation and clearing of this consignment. Already the officers involved in the clearance of this container are with the controller FOU under detention. This seizure dis underscores the determination of the service to enforce all laws relating to importation and exportation of goods into, into and out of Nigeria, thereby contributing to the economy, security and well-being of Nigerians. Well, as you know, one of our most, most important part of our role is the security and well-being of Nigerians. Our job is to ensure that Nigeria is safe, Nigeria is, is, is secured, and the only way we can do is to, is to ensure that things like this do not get into this country. And where they are able to get their way into this country, we should also make sure that we do not allow the importers to enjoy this illegal illegality in this country. And that is why our men are all over patrolling, our men are all over searching, and we need the, the assistance of the public because these things do happen. When, they, when these ones now, if they had escaped, they will be uploaded by some people. They will be transfer, transferred by some people. And if we do not get information, there's no way we can arrest this situation. And you and I are all liable to be killed by this because nobody knows who son is going to be. Oh, oh, oh.